News Alert. Now we are monitoring two big breaking news stories at this hour. One, a deadly train accident. The other, a state trooper involved in a crash. Now we begin with that deadly train accident. TV5's Meg McLeod at the scene on Bay City's west side. Meg, what have you learned so far? Hi, David and Colette. We are at the intersection of State and Hart in Bay City. I'm going to step out of the way behind me. You can see some train tracks glistening from the police lights. Police tell me the deputy director of the Bay City Department of Public Safety tells me a 26 year old man was struck and killed by a train this evening. They received the call at about 817 PM and at this point preliminary investigation reveals they do believe it is accidental. Now, just about an hour ago, I spoke with a woman who was third in line. So right behind where you can see the police officers right now, she was third in line waiting for the train to pass. And here is what she saw. As I'm waiting for the train to pass, I notice in the distance there's a gentleman walking. I can see through the train gaps that somebody was walking. He all of a sudden disappeared, and I'm still waiting on the train. They finally started moving. As soon as it started moving... The gentleman jumped, dropped from the train right in front of the middle of the railroad tracks and just kept getting right off it. Now, just about an hour ago, in the past hour, there have been several, several first responders who have left this scene. But when we arrived, state troopers, ambulance, firefighters, and of course, Bay County and city police. Now, the investigation is ongoing. They have a lot more to look into. But at this point, the deputy director of the Bay City Department of Public Safety tells me a 26 year old man was struck and killed by a train here at the intersection of State and Hart in Bay City, and they do believe it appears accidental. For now, reporting live in Bay City, I'm Meg McLeod. I'll send it back to you. What a tragedy out there. Thank you, Meg, for that. Now that other breaking news story, a state trooper involved in a head-on collision. It happened around 9 tonight at Genesee and East Remington on Saginaw's east side. Investigators tell TV5 the trooper was waiting to make a left turn when a vehicle with no headlights on slammed into the cruiser. Now that trooper suffered minor injuries. The other driver was arrested on suspicion of being under the influence. Stay with TV5.